So first off, we have the suitcase, obviously just for the background of the whole object, I guess. And then we move to the triangle, which has just got remove, which is just the outline. Um, you remove the inside, obviously, by just going into it and uh, clicking the start. And uh, I'll do this now. As you can see, it gets rid of the background. Well, not the background. It just shows you the outline. And uh, yeah, so that's just the triangle. You have to make it a little bit wider as well. This part is just the little bit in between, well, the gap um, at the start of the S. Um, as you can see, I'll show it up in red. Um, you just need to add a little piece of line right there and uh, make it black to get rid of the white on the triangle. And uh, then we'll go to the next one, which gets rid of the bottom left corner. And as you can see, both um, both lines go in towards the triangle. So um, just um, take that in mind. And uh, yeah, so that's that black piece. They're all the same um, piece, by the way. And uh, yeah, so this one is just the start of the S at the top. Um, um, I'll tell you how to make it that small. You don't need to make it that small. You can make it uh, a little bit bigger. But um, as you can see, that's the top. It goes uh, just below the tip of the triangle. And uh, yeah, and that's that part, obviously, as I was saying. Um, the second lieutenant, you can just grab that or the other one beside it and uh, use that for pretty much all of them. This is the left side of it, the start of the left side, as you can see, um, as it's highlighted in red. And uh, yeah, just get just get a big piece of uh, of it. Just make it a little bit wider and uh, put it down there. Um, yeah, so that's that part of it. And then you get this part, which goes um, al along the side. So you put it from one end of the triangle to the other in a diagonal, uh, I don't know, a diagonal line, I guess you could call it. And uh, you just make that white and um, connect it to the other part. Uh, this is one of the black pieces that, um, as you can see, you line it up with the triangle to make, um, to cut off all the white on the side so it doesn't hang out. And uh, yeah, you use um, those pieces and make them black so that they go into the background. And, uh, whoops, I <laughs> made a mistake here. I'll just reset the layer and uh, get back into it. So this part is the right uh, side of the S and uh, it just comes down from the triangle like that and uh, connects to the part above. And we will be using the uh, black piece along the right side, but not just yet, so don't add that. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that part. Um, the next part is the side part, just there. And uh, it goes along the triangle. Try and make the triangle uh, look uh, as normal as possible. And try and get the black part on right on the edge so it looks, you know, more like a triangle and not a wonky shape. Anyway, this is this part, which is the um, end of the S. It just goes down more towards the left side of the end of the triangle, uh, less so to the right side. And you just make it white, and uh, it sits there perfectly. And you just put it to the end of the square so it doesn't need any black parts to stop it. This is optional. This is just the YouTube thing. So, yeah, you can add that if you like. This is this the this is the last part of um of the cut off black parts right here. You can pause the video whenever you want really to uh to you know check them out. Uh so this is the I'm just going to show you like all the black parts where you need um to cut off all the white for the S in the triangle and uh yeah this is um yeah uh, hang on, this is pre-recorded if you haven't, if you haven't, uh, found out yet, um, 
this is this part where you cut off the triangle and this is this part where you cut off the triangle up on the right side and uh, yeah so that's the triangle guys I hope you've enjoyed please pause the video at any point to uh, you know uh, check if you need anything uh, I'll not check if you need anything I mean um, check how to do it so I put all them up in red so you can see where they are like a helpful person I am and uh, this was suggested by Pooing Mints <laughs> it's a pretty weird name um, anyway this is pre-recorded so yeah uh, so I, I just get out of this right now and uh, show you his name and stuff but uh, anyway if you've enjoyed please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already that's our logo if you didn't know already and uh, that's what it should look like uh, it doesn't have to look exactly like that but you know uh, however you make it look like should be fine but uh, yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later